Right, I put the cloves in, the garlic, and then Gracula. You give it a good turning over. Wow, not a lot of effort in it, and that's the results. To be quite honest, I recommend it, and I'll give it five out of five. So, my missus don't just use it, I do as well. So overall, a thumbs up.
So here is our little friend, Dracula. Um, one twist of his head and he will crush your garlic to smithereens. Mwah. Not really. Unfortunately, he's beautiful. He is lovely. He's absolutely welcome in this house because of the way he looks. He is gorgeous. However, first of all, he comes with this extra bit of packaging, which is huge and useless. Not very good for the environment. Then he comes in this box, which is really pretty, and it's got all kind of stars and moons and bats inside on the on the packaging inside, which is really cute. The um, the plastic on the outside, however is uh, not attached to the box and therefore recommend washing it before use. It also comes with this handy little piece of card attached to the blades that says remove before use. Seeing as the blades are plastic and um, they're not proper blades, they're not even as sharp as the kind of plastic blades you get on plastic rugby boots, um, it's not really very useful and as you can see by the indents in it it wasn't actually even attached to the plastic blades so it's a bit like one of those signs in the meme that says warning this sign has sharp edges um, it wasn't attached to the blades you can just about see the blades in there I've tried it it doesn't work very well you put one it says, according to the instructions, that you put your piece of garlic, your, your clove of garlic in, straight from the bulb, which then you twist back and forth the, pack, the, the garlic crusher and you have fantastic minced garlic. Um, hmm. One twist of its head and he will crush your garlic to smithereens. It, it's there. Nah, it's um, overhyped and it doesn't work. You have to crush, you have to twist its head several times. Um, you have to take the garlic out of the bulb and then to make the skin come off easily before putting it into the crusher, you have to do what you normally do with garlic, which is chop the fat end off and then crush it with the back side of a knife um, and then get the skin off yourself because otherwise this is what comes out of the garlic crusher and it doesn't come out like that it comes out all mixed in with the garlic and then you have to pick it out um, so that doesn't work really and uh, the garlic comes out more sort of <sighs> stringy it some of it is really stringy you can't really tell from this but yeah um some of it's really stringy and uh it doesn't really work very well and then of course you have to get it out of the crusher and it took me ages with a knife to pick that out and then of course it's left with lots of garlic oil in there and uh, it took me ages to get the garlic out of there i tried it with one clove to begin with and it it was just string so then i put a few more in to kind of bulk it out a bit and um, that helped but not much so yeah there he is and you get some stuck to the inside of that as well and this is the first time I've tried it according to the reviews if you put it in a dishwasher or wash it under a stream of water the head gets full of water um, so and then you can't get it out so 
to be honest, it's a thumbs down. Um, could do better. He gets on all right with the sergeant though, so I might keep it. Drink and drink some wine instead, and that's it really. Um. Our large and deep kitchen sponge holder provides enough space for your dishwashing accessories like sponges, brush scrubbers, and liquid soap dispensers. It's perfect for holding soap and other kitchen sink items. Being a handy countertop tray, the sink organizer keeps things in an easily accessible place. The sink sponge holder protects the sink area from soap scum and water and helps keep sponges off the counter that are wet. The sink tray is made of a flexible heat resistant silicone. FDA-approved antibacterial and antimicrobial sponge tray keeps your family safe. It's easy to wash by hand with liquid soap and brush under warm water. The sponge holder is part of the Step Kitchen Counter Organizer Collection by good to good The extra-large silicone dish drying mat with its widespread surface is a perfect placement for washed cups, pans, plates, bottles, and all other kitchen utensils. The high edges and waterproof bottom of the drying mat collect drained water and keep kitchen countertops clean and dry. Its inner high ridges provide better air circulation for drying dishes fast. Use the silicone sponge holder with the silicone dish drying mat by good to good and your countertop will always boast of neatness and cleanliness. Egg cookers. Hi, I'm Clay with Dash. Cooking eggs with our egg cookers is super easy but I'm gonna teach you some tips and tricks on how to make perfect eggs every time. All right, first, let me show you how easy it is to make eggs. All you're going to do is use the little pin on the bottom of the cup to pierce the wide side of each egg. Fill up your egg cooker, and then fill up your cup with the right amount of water for the number of eggs you have. Then you just pour the water right onto the heating plate, put the lid on, and turn the machine on. And then you just have to wait for the little chime and your eggs are done. Why do you pierce eggs? That's a great question. Have you noticed when you get your eggs home from the grocery store, they're always wide side up? That's because there's a little pocket of air in that side of the egg. When we use the pin to prick the eggs, it's going to do three things by releasing that air. One, it's going to make the egg easier to peel. Two, it's going to prevent the egg from cracking under the heat. And three, it will make it so you don't cook an egg with a flat side on the top. While these eggs are cooking, let me talk about the egg cup. Now, if you got a large egg cooker, it will come with a large egg cup. And if you read the side, you might be thinking, why does it take less water to cook more eggs? I know it's confusing, but it's physics, which are confusing. Less eggs take up less space, which means there needs to be more steam to cook them. Make sense? Speaking of science, if you live at a high altitude, then water is going to boil at a lower temperature, which means you might need slightly more water to cook your eggs. My eggs are done. Now that they're finished cooking, I would suggest putting them in some cold water, which will stop the cooking so you get really yellow yolks. It's also going to make them slightly easier to peel. That's a perfect egg. <laughs> and that's it. 